No, not clickada, cicada. G'day guys, welcome to 2024. I'm Clayton and this is Workbench Hobbies. It's probably a case of everyone else was doing it, so why not me? I thought I would reflect on my journey from last year, my YouTube journey, the models I'd built. Then I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an insight into what I'm planning for 2024. And then I thought I'd give you three tips to help you enjoy your modeling more this year. Firstly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you who have liked the video, watched the video, subscribed, commented, connected with me on Facebook. It is truly appreciated and I thank you for your engagement and your enthusiasm. It's really helping me create this content, so thank you. Also, a special thanks to Dave and the boys from the On The Bench podcast, as well as Scott and the boys from the Plastic Posse podcast. Those two platforms have been super helpful and super encouraging in helping me grow this channel. So thank you so much. And if you guys haven't connected in with the podcast community, I would really encourage you to do so. It is a great way to engage in this hobby even when you can't be sitting at the modeling bench and i've put some links below so be sure to check them out 2023 was a massive year for me and whilst i'd had the youtube channel for quite some time it had sat there inactive and i decided last year was the year that i would kickstart this do what i'd been wanting to do for the last 10 years and start to create some content and share it with this community do it for those of you guys who are interested the camera i'm using is a sony a7c with a 90 mil macro lens and i have it set up on a light table which i'll insert a little photo for you now so you can check it out First build was the Tamiya Panzer 38T in 35th scale. Now with that series, I tried to cater to the beginner as well as include some more advanced techniques in the later videos in that series. I was pretty happy with it, uh, but I was still finding my feet with the editing and the filming, but it was a start and we've all got to start somewhere. Next up was the 48 scale Tamiya Nashorn. Now I tried to have a little bit of fun with those videos. Some may say a little bit too much fun, Never. but it was all a learning curve and I was having a ball making these things. I love the kit and I promise, I promise you Grant, <laughs> I will put that in a vignette for you sometime early this year. I then tried a couple of different video formats. Uh, one where I looked at 3D printed tracks and another creating rust effects, just simple, small tutorials. And that's something I'm looking to expand on in this coming year. The early war Panzer II, the IBG kit, gave me a heck of a lot of trouble to build, but it's one of those things I persevered with and I was pretty happy with the end result. Then easily one of the highlights of my time last year was my trip down to Melbourne to go and spend some time in the studio with the On The Bench boys. That was a real thrill and I really appreciate the platform the guys gave me there. Next up was the newly released Tacom Hetza. Now this was the kit that the channel started to get a bit of traction and it's one of the kits I'm most proud of. I had a lot of help along the way in terms of references and whatnot so thank you to those people. And being a full interior kit I needed to make sure I kept the momentum up and I could release these build videos in a timely nature and like I said it's one of the kits I'm most proud of from last year. It was during that Hetzer build I snuck in the review for the Weasel. I had such high hopes for the Weasel off the back of the Hetzer experience I was having and I'm sure most of you have seen the video now the flop goes the Weasel video um, <laughs> And again, it seemed to be popular. Bad news is popular. I didn't do it on purpose. Bad news, bad news. Even when it's good news, it's bad news. The ultra modern Meng Leopard 2 A7 Plus was next in the build series. This was the one where I did the lineal urban camouflage. Now I love these schemes and I was so proud to be able to share that with you. I was also so happy with the end result. And the last build for the year was the 72nd scale Vespered Tiger 1. Now 72nd scale isn't a scale I would generally work in, 
but wow what a kit if you haven't seen the build review or the the painting review i would encourage you to do that because if you're going to build one 70 second scale kit in your life this could be the one it is absolutely gorgeous and then to wrap up the year, I had the honour of being on the Plastic Posse Podcast's Christmas special as their guest, where I was interviewed by Scott, JB and Grant for around about an hour. And it was an absolute ball and a real honour. So thank you to the boys. But easily my biggest video of last year was the black basing versus pre-shading video I did as we're recording now, it's up to 108,000 views, which has absolutely blown my mind because I actually didn't think anyone would watch that video. It's funny, it's so hard to predict what people are going to watch. People seem to like the content, people seem to like the comparisons, so I'll do my best to explore that style of video in the new year. And if you have any ideas or anything you'd like to see, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. So what's 2024 got installed for the channel? Well, obviously it's going to be more of the same. More build series, more build reviews. I'm looking to do more comparison videos and focus in and deep dive on some techniques as well as bring just general thoughts around the hobby when I can. I have had a lot of people ask about the Patreon page. It isn't set up yet. I'm aiming to do that around March. So if you want to engage in a greater way and get access to more content, then I'll let you know, but keep an eye out for that. So three tips to help you enjoy your modeling more in 2024. The first tip, join in. When I say join in, join a club, Join in a conversation, join a Facebook page, listen to a podcast, just get involved with the community, connect with other people, other like-minded people, and you will watch your enjoyment in this hobby exponentially grow. I can't recommend it highly enough. Now, the second tip is persist. I see so many people put their models aside on the shelf of doom or whatever it might be at 70% finished. You know what? Persist, push on, do the things that make you uncomfortable because they're the things that are going to make you grow. And no one has ever regretted finishing a model. So persist, push through those little blocks because they are the gold. They are the learning experiences. And the hit you will get, that joy you will get from finishing your model and putting it on the table or putting it in your display case, <laughs> there's nothing like it. So persist. And tip three ties into the one before a little, but accept failure. Failure is part of this hobby and you will not learn and you cannot grow until you accept that your models aren't going to be perfect and there's never going to be a perfect time to start a model or try a different technique. Have a go, get involved. Failure is the entry price. That's what you've got to be willing to do. Just focus on being better than the one before and focus on learning a new technique every time you build a model. So that's it. Thank you for watching and thank you again for your support and encouragement in helping me grow this channel. It is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned next week. I will have that nostalgic trip down memory lane with the build series of the re-released Tamiya half track, the US half track, the M16, and I'm going to have a giveaway during the video as well. So stay tuned for further details. Remember, guys, this is the greatest hobby in the world. Share it with your family and share it with your friends, and let's be proud of what we do. I'll see you next week. Cicadas are the loudest insects in the world, with a recorded sound of 107 decibels, which is loud enough to cause permanent hearing loss from close range. Why, Australia, why?